Siling it in I know that when that noise does clear I'll be on your frequency Liam here and welcome back to LSJ TV. Now, as you will see by the title, today's video is a full day of eating. I want to give you guys a little bit of information just to start off about that first meal that you guys have just seen me make. That was not really what I would call a typical kind of meal that I would have. It was a bagel with uh, bacon and just a little bit of butter as well. Now that was only a grand total of 483 calories with a total of 46 grams of carbs, 25 grams of fat and 20 grams of protein. Normally the fat would be much lower because I would have eggs instead of bacon and the protein would be much higher because I have eggs instead of bacon. But we were actually out of eggs, so that's it. And actually out of bread as well. We, I would normally have it on toast rather than on a bagel. A couple of things had to be switched around, but that is okay. It's just your daily caloric intake that matters. It doesn't matter exactly what foods and or you know I could go into detail in a different video but I follow it if it fits your macros kind of thing the hype I kind of jumped on that bandwagon and to be honest it's, it's worked quite well for me it allows me to track exactly what I have but still you know enjoy a bit of a chocolate bar every now and then or, or something like that it works quite well for me so since bulking guys the science tells me that I have to have 3,000 calories now I know whether it's because of my metabolism or whatever the hell the reasons are that that is too much food for me. So I've had it around, I've generally, if I've gone up to the 3000 mark, I've made sure that it was, you know, from a protein shake or something like that. But, or maybe the occasional pizza. Generally speaking, I would have around 3000, but maybe closer to 2800 calories. And I would have around about 350 grams of carbs, around about 250 grams of protein, and about 60 to 70 grams of fat. It doesn't matter too much if I don't hit those values exactly. It's a guidance that I follow, generally speaking, and you know, it, it seems to work quite well. So I'm excited to show you the kind of foods that, well, actually you kind of know the next meal that's gonna come up. Um, but for now, I'm actually tidying my room I'm kind of halfway through it because look at it this is worse than it normally is because half of this is normally up there but anyway what I'm gonna do is tidy this right here because I want it to be like a lean showcase kind of thing right now it's filled with shakers with other companies that I don't work with so I feel like I may as well make it like a kind of design a lean design so it goes <laughs> I think that will do for now. I've kind of left some space at the top, sort of, you know, in case I have to put any books there because I am actually doing a degree while I'm here, so. Speaking of which, I actually need to do work for the next couple of hours, so that's a bit boring. I'm not gonna show you guys that, and then we'll just skip to the next meal, and then we'll go in gym. So I'll see you guys. Then. already know this staple meal of the channel and that is tin of beans, tin of tuna and a packet rice. A whopping 838 calories, 129 grams of carbs, that's mainly from the rice and a bit from the beans, only a small teeny tiny 7 grams of fat and a hefty portion of protein with 56 grams. So this is pretty much my staple meal that you'll see in probably one in three videos that I make it, at, at least I make it on the regular. It's not the prettiest meal in the world, it's not the greenest meal in the world, but it is perfect for students who just want a quick meal in two minutes. I don't even heat up the beans, but you can, all down to personal preference. 838 calories, which might seem like a lot, but if I'm cutting, what I do is have half a bag of rice and half a tin of beans, whereas now I'm bulking so I can have a full tin of beans and a full bag of rice. It's just learning the ratios and being strict with your portion sizes that will actually help you achieve your goals in the long run. Mm. 
Currently on the way to the gym. It is Monday. It is International Chest Day. I'm going to go for a new heavy bench rep PB of 92.5. Um, and I'm, I've waited until I've had a couple of meals in me purely because I like to do that so I feel like I have enough energy whereas I feel if I don't do that and I go some people train fasted and it works great for them they use it as a good fat burner and stuff like that intermittent fasting and all that bollocks that's not for me I, I can't do that <laughs> From the gym red faced and ready for dinner what we have is babe do you want spag bol or chili uh, I don't know. which do you want what do you want for lunch i couldn't care less which do you want so we've decided on spag bol because one meal tip meal tip one tip meal tip prep meal prep thing tip one meal prep tip is to do something that it will last you, you don't mind having cold, and for me, that is spag bol. I have spaghetti bolognese a lot, and so I can have it nice and warm, and a nice warm meal one day, and then just take it in a container in my bag with me the following day, nice and cold. So I don't, pr I don't mind it either way, whether it's hot or cold, so if you do mind, if some people don't like cold pasta and stuff like that, then an option might be, you know, pre prepare a wrap or you know, just anything that's not gonna be too detrimental to you and you're not gonna mind eating or preparing, it's not gonna be too much effort. Big knife necessary to cut a teeny tiny pepper? Absolutely not. Am I gonna do it? Absolutely. So the final big meal of the day is this spaghetti bolognese. As I said, I will have that leftover for the day at uni tomorrow. I'm in for the entire day, so I'll be vlogging that. So the next video that you will see will be that as well. I'm gonna tuck into this and then I'll finish off the video. The macros for that meal will be on the screen right about here. It's a slightly different recipe with slightly different mints and slightly different sauces to uh, what I would normally use. And so I can't remember the macros off the top of my head. So. There they are, if you actually give a shit. That's gonna conclude breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I don't do any of this four, five, six meals a day kind of thing. I just stick to a standard breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I like to have nice, big, filling meals, and I find that that works for me. I'm still like 700 calories under my actual limit, according to, you know, the science but around about five or 600 under what I would normally be. That is because I haven't really been snacking today. Whether that's because subconsciously I'm eating better because I'm doing a full day of eating, but like, you know, I haven't had any crisps or I haven't had, you know, a chocolate bar or something like that. The main reason being is that I'm a student, I'm skint and I haven't got any. But what I'm gonna do instead is have a protein shake just to finish off the day. That will give me another 100, 150 calories because I have it with milk and it will top me up on that protein intake as well. Because at the minute I am quite a way under on my protein intake, quite a way under on everything for the entire day except fats. I've somehow managed to hit that. But that is not necessarily a bad thing because the things that I would have to snack on would be kind of zero fat things. Whether that be low fat Greek yogurt or it be lean protein shake or you know anything along those lines. That most snacks that I would have would be low fat and so the, hitting that fat macro would just, it's never normally really an issue. I, I sometimes go over like I have done today. But like I say, it's a guideline. Like I said at the start of the video, it's not give, it's not the end of the world if you go over or if you're slightly under. So the apps that you guys can use to track this kind of stuff is my fitness pal. That is what I've used in the, all, all the screenshots that you've seen throughout the video. That has come from my fitness pal. You just scan the barcode. It's really easy, really simple, minimal effort, and then you just put the portion size, how much you've had, 
simple job done. If you are looking to get into the gym a little bit more and don't know what to do with your macros and you want to get your diet on point, I am now an online coach and so shoot me a DM and we can sort something out. I'll be more than happy to help. So that is going to round off today's video guys. Hopefully you did enjoy it. Drop it a like and a comment down below. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. Don't forget that online coaching because together we will grow. Thanks for watching today guys. As always remember, no regrets. I'll see you guys in the next video.